Hello, I'm John Fox and welcome to Fox on I'm having a Disco Elysium adventure. We're talking to this Sunday friend. How did, did, did you two even become friends? I asked my Sunday friend. How did any of us become friends? Bad things happening on the Interludian Isola. Oil platforms ablaze in the night. Civil wars lasting for years. Finally, an international community is forced to step in. What are you talking about? No one becomes friends that way. Au contraire. It's how millions of people end up where they are meeting the people they meet. It's how I came here. My friend too. You still haven't told me who he is. Sorry, who? Man throws a quick glance at his watch. Your friend, the smoke on the balcony. We were just talking about him. I told you, officer. He's a bright young man here to pursue his education. Education is the foundation of our future, especially the arts. It is the cornerstone of our civilization. Fine, but what's his real name? Officer, you have to understand. I can't give you his personal information. I'm sure you have your own methods and databases, right? Please don't put me in this situation. But all you can tell me about him is that he's here to study the arts. Deeply enmeshed in the study of the fine arts, yes. The charts. He's a truly free spirit. He likes all the arts. Perhaps graphic design. Printmaking. Who knows? The world is open wide for talented youth like him. What are you doing in his, uh, his apartment by yourself? I'm just enjoying the view. The man smiles, nodding to the out window. What view? It's dark outside. Listen, he says, raising his hand. A baby is crying in the neighborhood apartment. Somebody's baby is crying. No, listen, says again, looking outside. Until I die in Bay. What about it? The place used to be a luxury accommodation before the revolution. Apartments, of course, were much bigger then. A few walls have been added here or there, leaving some of the tenements without a private bathroom or, ki or a kitchen. But, millions of real views, but the million real view stays. You can't take that away. He knocks on the balcony door face mirrored in the darkened glass. I was asking about your friend. A friend comes and goes. I'm sure you'll see him around. He's a busy bee. Busy bee? What an odd choice of words. That's something else in mind. I'm all ears, officer. You actually witnessed the lynching? I'm sorry to say I did, officer. The man gives a solemn nod. He didn't see the hanging. He saw a little show staged by the Hardys. Let him talk. He may know more than he even than even he knows. Start from the beginning, if you don't mind. Officer, it's very difficult to describe what I saw that night. It was so surreal to me. Like in a play. He holds out his hands and blossoms his fingers. Like a drama teacher setting the scene. Tenant is already scribbling down notes. What do you mean, like in a play? It was just so strange. I could barely comprehend what was happening. I was on the balcony when it happened. Getting some fresh air. I remember that first that they came in, carrying what looks like a body. Then I saw all the surrounding windows go dead, one by one. That's when I understood. I should not be seeing this. Lieutenant nods to you. That lines up with previous testimony, doesn't it? Well done, detective. Thank you, sir. I think we've got the picture. Nothing else stands out? Only that there were about eight or ten. I couldn't make out anything. It was so dark. But it was quiet, he says, smoothing his hair. Quietest lynching I ever heard of, let alone heard. Hmm. But I suspect you knew that already. I can't say I'm surprised. My reputation of the men and women serving the RCM is well deserved. What's an official like you doing in the Martinez? Coalition is only looking out for the price stability. He raises an index finger. Inflation is a killer, like heart disease blocking the normal circulation of the economy. It must be controlled. The economy impacts the entire international community which is why it requires an international oversight. What are you doing here in this apartment? Ah, while well, I'm renovating it. It's an interesting project. The building used to be a 12-story skyscraper before the cannons took four stories off. This, of course, happened when the coalition forces landed here. He smiles. You could say I'm undoing some of the material damage the international community caused when we arrived here. Are you some kind of bureaucrat? Ah, yes. Uh, as I said before, I'm a commissioner from Sir Le Clef, working for the Institute of Price Stability. He glances at his watch. This is one of the main projects of the Marlinton. Wait. There isn't actually an Institute of Price Stability, is there? Maybe there is. God, it's impossible to understand whether someone from the Marlinton is joking or not. What is this international community? 
La Communauté Internationale. <laughs> God damn, John, your pronunciation. Is what the Revolutionians quickly called the coalitions. In other words, the nations that stopped the disaster of the revolution. And what do I call the coalition? Your employer, technically speaking, the governing authority of Revachol, the RCM, is but one part of this provisional administration. What is the price stability? It's the most important thing. It doesn't tell me anything. It is the central goal of any sound monetary policy. Maintaining the price stability is essential to maintaining high levels of economic activity, which is essential for maintaining high levels of employment, which is essential for maintaining the social stability. Basically, it makes sure the price of bread doesn't change. So somewhat. Too much inflation, bread becomes too expensive. Too much deflation, it becomes too cheap for bakers to reduce. While the Institute of Price Stability works to keep inflation below 2%. 2% of what? Not too far below, no. Too below is also bad. Below, close to 2%. You're not answering my questions at all. The coalition believes the importance of informing the public about the benefits of zero price stability. Transparency is our, one of our principles. Would you like an informational pam pamphlet? Okay, sure, give me the pamphlet. Sound monetary policy is essential for addressing uncertainty. Stability is the raison d'etre of the moral intent. It's the reason why I identify as a moralist. He pats his pockets. Is this like the boss battle of the... Uh, no, because we had one already. Uh, of, um, I was going to say, uh, neoliberalism. He pats his pockets. But, oh, I don't have any leaflets on me today. It's too bad. You can always call our information line. Making information available as a part of the moral entities community commit commitment. Commitment to transparency. I've heard about this moral intent before, but I want to know more. It's the International Organization for Moralists, hence Moral List International. The institution of price stability is just one of the many mind babies as the coalition. When I said I was a lackey of the capital, what I should have said is that I'm a moral intent bitch. I'm going to turn to Kim and say this. Doing one's job doesn't automatically make one anyone's bitch. Besides, uh, more nefarious powers to work for than the moral intent. Max Thomas. Are you a moralist? But of course. Am I a moralist? Well, do you value freedom? Do you believe in noble, stable world governed by democratic values? Lieutenant, are you a moralist? Hmm, me, I, uh... We managed to catch the lieutenant of guard, but only for a moment he quickly recomposes himself. I'm a lieutenant of the RCM dedicated to maintaining law and order in Revachol. Very moralist answer, the man nods. But what is a normal stable world? That is a great question. The Occident is a part of the normal world. Orania, Sir Leclef. Martinez doesn't seem very normal or stable to me. Martinez? No, Martinez is something else. What about the rest of Revachol? Is it a part of the normal world? Revachol is generally difficult, led by an interim government. It means it haven't, hasn't yet achieved full de democracy. But they are normal. They are working towards it. They're all doing very well here, relatively speaking. Gives you an approving nod. Democracy is a meaningless sham as long as the working class is under the boot heel of capital. Tenant clears his throat. Of course, the detective's personal views do not represent the views of the RCM. Ah, my friend. But the lesson of the revolution is that communism does not work, my friend. <laughs> but we haven't tried real communism yet. Ah, yes, the unattainable ideal. Never settle for let's. Good luck with that, my friend. It's not like you're going to gather any forces soon with all that drinking, and he knows it. Now enough of this delightful political interlude. Was there anything else you wanted to ask? Tell me about Sherla Clef. What is there to say? Sherla Clef is a modern, urbanised country 
measures very high on the Human Development and Freedom Index. Mostly, though, it's known for the extensive executive heart of Epis in the epicenter. Um, moreover, it is a great sponsor of the less emerged countries. Revachol is the only one of its many darlings whose progress it supports and cherishes. Darlings? That can't be the official designation. What makes Revachol Solaclef's darling? Because it's a great percentage of Revachol's culture hails from Solaclef. Its language, its people, its cuisine even. We, or at least in the downtown La Delta area. Jamrock and other parts of the international zone have been mercifully spared of Solar Clef's love for meatballs and mashed potatoes. Tell me about Aranya. Aranya is an exemplary nation who, as a core member of Epis, contributes 28% of our annual budget. Next to Solar Clef, Aranya is probably the most prominent member of the international community. Which one of them is more Epis? Founding members of, are both very Epis. Aranya car carries a lot of political weight, while Solar Clef takes care of the business side of things. Solar Clef hosts the headquarters of the major Epis institutions. Okay, so like it, I'm I'm pretty sure uh, this is like the EU essentially, and different countries of the EU. Okay, but outside of Epis, what is Aranya? Aranya's economy is one of the most advanced in the world. It has successfully transitioned from heavy industrial industry to advanced services. It generally acts like an engine for sustainable change in the international community. I didn't tell you anything about Aranya. I once heard from here that they are a reasonably sized superpower. That's one way to put it. Yes, they certainly have a lot of, have the power to exert influence over others, but they only do it as a, in the name of regional stability. After all, Oranya is a moral nation, not some crazed mesk petro fascist state. If he knows so much about Oranya, maybe he knows about the Oranya mercenaries. Enough business. Let's talk about something else. Whatever you wish, mon uh, uh, officer. What if I told you there's a fugitive from the moral I don't know if I want to talk about that, actually. The man who was lynched outside of your window was from Oranya. Oh, that's unusual. Or Oranyes are not the kind of people you associate with heinous crimes. Such an upstanding and responsible country. That's not how I would describe this guy. Well, certainly one cannot rely on simple, simply on generalizations that would go against our commitment to individual freedoms. And of course... Any loss of life is a tragedy. Man seems to observe a moment of silence. So tell me, what have you learned of, about the victim? He was a poor kid before the Oranier's government put him in the military academy. Man nods. It's responsible of any good welfare state to take care of its most unfortunate citizens. They turned him into a psychopathic killing machine. They gave him a successful career. The man holds up a finger as though he's a brilliant. He's made a brilliant point. Yes, killing was his business, and business was good. Did he love it before they made him do it again and again and again? What else has your investigation uncovered? He'd like to get high and brag about war crimes he committed. Extremely distasteful behaviour. He cannot condone either drug use or needless boasting. Suffice to say, this is not how we do things in Shola Clef. His name was Lely, and he was 42 years old. What a shame. A man kept down in his prime earning years. Ugh. Uh, Lely wasn't his real name. It was a nom de guerre. Ah, he was a soldier. A mercenary. Aha! A conditeur. Conditeur? The man says, as though describing a character from a fantasy novel. Hard to believe they still exist. After he discharged from the military, he joined a group of mercenaries. It's extremely unfortunate. Yes, it's regrettable that this practice has a history in certain Occidental nations, even a highly advanced members of the Epis. But rest assured, the Orange Yeh's government have committed to producing a timetable that would lay out a path of transi to transition to a professional army. Soon there'll be no need for mercenaries like this poor man. What kind of timetable are we talking about here? Oh, it's hard to put an exact date on it. I believe the proposal for the timetable is due to be completed around 60 or 61. What? 
It's like a decade from now. Land on sea. That's the kind of progress that can be made when the moral income makes what? That's the kind of progress that can be made when the moral income makes possible. He was a motherfucker and a killer. Officer, you shouldn't speak ill of the dead. It's okay. He told me to her. He he spoke to you with, with you so you spoke with the victim before he died. No, no, this was after he died. Man gives the lieutenant a nervous look. Lieutenant raises his eyebrow as though he'd stopped paying attention. Partner's doing you a favour by pretending not to have heard you set your insane ramblings. As a merc, he killed a lot of people on the Seminese Islands to advance the Orange Yay's business interests. Man shakes his head solemnly. Great shame. Yes, colonialism is a dark spectre of Orange Yay's past. Who's talking about the past? It's still going on. Which is why the work of the Moral Intent is so critical. The great bulwark against another century of bloodshed. That's all. That's who he was. As I said, loss of life. Loss of any life is terrible, no matter who the person may have been. I do hope you're able to bring his killer or killers to justice. You must show that the rule of law still applies, even in Revachal. Thanks. But I all I need. Moment, officer. Do you have anything you need from me? I'm afraid we won't have the chance to speak again once you leave. Hold on, why can't we talk later? It's against diplomatic best practices for an official in my position to be discussing murders of local militiamen. Pauses. I'm pressed for time. After I you leave, I should be leaving as well. That's not the real reason. He's he's so apprehensive. But in his position, shouldn't be seen loitering around in underprivileged young men's apartments in the middle of the night. Oh. I'm not going anywhere. I just want to take a look around this apartment. Go, oh, go ahead. It's a beautiful space. Glances at his watch. Let me know if you have any further questions. Thought complete. Cop of the apocalypse. Copocalypse, as some might call it. It's not fire. It's not ash. There will most certainly be a sea of corpses leading up to the event. But it won't be a war or pestilence that causes it. Oh no. The event will belong to a genre of cataclysm. No man is dared to suspect will ever come to pass. You can only sense the shape of it. Like a cavity. A pit opening up in your stomach. A throat into which the world will vanish. The streets, the grass, the stars. All will be rolled back. By whom? By what? And how? You don't know. All you know is, you're not joking around. Only cap for Inland Empire and Shivers raised to six. Ah. Uh. I don't think it really suits me. What's the other one? Off light? There we go. I think they're quite interesting as well as skills go. Hmm. Go. Unlocked that as well. Okay. Was there anything else? That line there, isn't it? Huh. 
I don't know. Hmm. Ah, I don't know. Because he could, he could help with that. If that's the reason why murders are going on, then that's an important talking point. At the same time, I don't want to just get in trouble because I just happen to walk into the one person who would care about that sort of thing. Hmm. How is he a Sunday friend if it feels like Friday? Okay, no, you can't. You can. Hmm. I don't wish I didn't do that. I don't know. Don't tap the uh, mic, John. Nothing he said has actually been useful. Think, John. Think. Your gut says not to talk about it, so let's not. Oh, where are we going now then? It's quite late, but sorry, don't clumsily play with stuff next to my asthma pump. Next to the mic. Where am I going? Paintbrush check, heavy fuel oil check. Now the only thing left to do is paint the wall. I love you, Kuno. Paintbrush in your hand is loaded. It's like a loaded revolver. What will it be, Desperado? Quite a few things come to mind. Uh, that's weird as fuck. Uh, what shadows lie there beneath the bright gleam? Ah! Uh, I'm reminded. So, um, okay, so there's this Extinction Rebellion, and I was like, you know what, I'm, 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 I'll help around with that. I had a chance, I was at work. So a few of us from work walked there, and there was lots of people there, mainly like school kids and stuff, which is sort of nice, because of the environment and stuff. And there was lots of chalk, because the thing about chalk is it would just happily wash away, but you can make a statement, but it's not, not like vandalism or anything. And lots of cool pictures and statements and stuff. And I just sort of stood there and go, I can't think of anything to write that's like, would like, I could just copy someone else's words or, or like, so I just ended up giving someone else the chalk. I like that. 
I like that. And I sort of like that. I like that it's not words. But I feel like that might be terrible. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to go for that. What shadows lie there beneath the bright gleam of the pose? I love the... You've spoken. The wall now silently repeat this message for a decade or so until the sea air degrades the paint, adding another layer of detritus to the city. Very poetic. Lieutenant nods in appreciation. Doesn't sound sincere. Real poetry. Did we return to our murder investigation? Here there's a really bad one we're supposed to solve. Officers, have you come to admire my mural? Too late to see me. We don't actually have enough to sleep yet. Spirited chirps and clicks of swallows fill the air. So a great a gateway to the river of filth. Someone has broken down the fence and the barbed wire. The swing is missing. No one's been here for a long time. Rust peels off the bent iron posts of the swing. The wind whistles through the skeleton of the snail house, be small house behind you. There's desolation everywhere. What happened to you? In this yard, the tenant looks at the small building. A flock of grey swallows ticks off in the distance. He's assessing the situation. How long ago was it abandoned? Someone thought they could have a summer house in the block obscure. But cheap. It didn't work out. They abandoned it about a decade ago. Wait, what's a block obscure? A black block, a part of the city left unrenovated after the war. One that has fallen to gang violence. Or has become inhospitable, on, inhospitable in some other way. On aerial photos, block obscures look like dark squares, hence their name. So this part of the coast is a block obscure. Practically, it's not an official term in any way, but he spreads his arms. Look around. No sewage, broken power lines, crimes, drunks. Life is tough in the blocks. No place to build a summer house. Maybe they left something useful behind. Yes, for you to scavenge. Like a post-apocalyptic scavenger who collects trash and errant magnesium blisters. Gives you a wary smile. It's not meant as nagging, it's just an observation. We should move. I don't think our suspect is in this particular yard. No place to hide. Besides, it's too close to Martinez. Our bills are paid. Glory, says the graffitio, to the ghosts of us.
No one has left their music collection beneath the tarpaulin. <gasps> Smallest church in St. Sands. Oh yeah, we've got to look at our badge. The tape you found from the shack on the coast. The A side has Smallest Church in St. Sands written on it. While the B side is supposed to contain an instrumental version. Requires a boombox to play. The Porto Reel is just what you needed. The reel is attached to the apparatus with a satisfying click. The tape is now rooted behind the magnetic reader. Press play on the tape. You press the large button marked Commencer and the tape starts spinning. There's a small delay before the song starts playing. Push your ear against the speaker. Sounds like someone's moving in the room, getting comfortable, and the organ starts playing a simple melancholic tune echoing in the hallway a lone singing voice joins in telling you about the tiniest church in St. Zayn's surrounded by even tinier yard you almost feel that seaside mist on your skin it's mega sad within seconds you know this is the one the real shit you've been looking for the one you trashed your room that Plazier told you about perform it the click and silence for a bit stop stop swinging Could I sing this for karaoke? I think I could sing this. Of course you could sing this. You could take a sad to a whole new level with this. You already know the lyrics since you've listened to it like a million times. Yep, they're all here, all three verses. And the B-side of the tip contains an instrumental version. Like the world itself is telling you to do it. Only one obstacle stands in your way. What? Gart. If to convince Gart to let you sing karaoke in the whirling after you've won him over. You can express yourself, let the pain out, make everyone understand. You turn into what is you pack up the poo box, it doesn't say anything. Look at the photo! Ryan keeps winking at you with his green grey eyes. Let's get my cup of tea. It's cold now. The photo is old, no doubt about that. The badge is new! Use an old photo for a new badge. Good choice. A newer photo would look different. How old? Eight, maybe ten years. The guy in the picture is rather good looking. He's got a nice haircut and distinctively, distinctly, la distinctly lacking in massive sideburns. And he's winking. Why? Why do you think? His face is already contorted by the expression. Though it does look less grotesque on him than it does on you now. The badge in your hand shines as you rotate it, catching light. You see lines of information on it and shining a watermark. Name Harrier Dubois. Harrier? That's long for Harry, so you are Harry, he thinks. Everart was half right. Probably not a lot of people know your full name. Whoever told you your Harry Dubois didn't? Ah! Wait, what kind of name is Harrier? It's a wartime name. Revolutionary. Kind mothers give their sons during troubled times, like Undying or Boxer or Ironhard. Hide. Name like armor. Harrier Dubois. It is then. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Harrier Dubois. Badge in your hand shines as you rotate it, catching the light. Rank. Lieutenant, I'm pretty sure that says. Uh, Lieutenant Double Yefriator. What is Lieutenant Double Yefriator? The, the Lieutenant is a rank above Sergeant and below Captain. The highest rank in the RCM that still does field work. I'm a Lieutenant. Double Yefriator. The, uh, lieut the title is added to your rank when you decline a promotion to a higher rank. In your case, Captain. Lieutenant explains, you've declined twice. That's your double... A free at all. Declined. There are many reasons one would do this. The rank above you in your precincts. De, de, de comptage might be taken. Or sometimes promoted officers do not want to replace their superiors out of respect. Sometimes, he continues, they just prefer the type of police work available to their current rank. Your case, your lieutenant. What's a de comptage? The comptage is a... Hierarchical system employed by the Revitalian citizens' militia 
means counting down to twos. The countdown is modelled after the dual leadership system employed by the left during the revolution in terms developed by last century experimental psychologists in the University of Cohen Koenigstein. Koenigstein, whatever. The lowest rank is junior officer, usually teenagers. Uh, there are patrol officers, there are sergeants, lieutenants, and then captain. That's basically it, except for a few kinks. What kinks? Kinks like satellite officers and the uh, additional Yafriator rank I already explained. The long and short of it is, you're his superior. Wait, satellite officers? You're given the title of satellite officer if your partner is quickly promoted through the ranks and you rise with him. You don't seem to be a satellite. So you've been putting up with all my bullshit because I'm your superior. No, I've been putting up with your bullshit. I've been putting up with you because despite an unconventional approach, you're doing good police work. Oh, that's nice. It matters more than driving your motor carriage into the sea. He smiles encouragingly. And now we've even found your bad. I, I love Kim. <laughs> what a wonderful person he is. He trusts you for now. Try not to spoil it. Thought my rank was drunk. Yes, apparently you've had a rather successful career in the past and he pauses to examine you. This leads me to believe that maybe your current situation is only temporary. Thanks. This gives me hope. Good, he says with a quick smile. Go back to the document. Such a small yet precious thing. Expensive paper caught between the thick plastic like a fly in the amber. It reads, Serial Rev 126205 Jam 41. That's just the serial number, Revitol, Jamrock, Precinct 41. Some numbers thrown in there for good measure. The numbers are not there for good measure. They have an administrative purpose. One that's unfortunately been erased by your memory. I'll answer my brother's question in a bit. Date of issue, 7th of November, 50. I might actually pause. Right, uh... I guess that was instant view. I've got a pause button that's really useful uh, on the uh, L... Uh, not the L-Cat, it's OBS, isn't it? Um, was that always there? No, four months ago, I'm guessing that's when you were promoted to the rank of Lieutenant Double y F. New badge usually comes with a new rank. You seem to have been doing well then. The case created a lot of edge you have to take off. The death march really gets us going. You're pretty sure you weren't doing well, but better? Probably yes. A lot can happen in four months, especially in winter. The winters are never easy on you. Of that, you are sure. Precinct 41? Yes, that is the designation of your precinct. 41, like mine says 57. The 57th is mostly industrial harbour. A lot of asphalt. 41st is... He stops. What? It's a tough station to work in. You have all the jam rocks, all of jam rocks cover. A district should have three precincts, but money is what it is. Then again, a faint smile. It's a legendary di district. And I'll have a station too. It must be an honour and a curse to work with people like Price, McCoy, Bird, Yavera, Roberts, Verbach, Demetre. Suddenly names from you, your decomptage de flash in your forebrain. Badge in your hand shines as you rotate it, catching light. You see lines of information on it. And, uh, yeah, okay. Ooh. So yeah, uh... I've lent my brother to sell my old recording uh, Elgato thing, or Legato as my phone likes it was correct. Um, oh, what was that? Birds in the birch tree, barely audible, coos from above. Uh, but it doesn't record the PS4 natively, which is an issue I had. Uh, I tried to upgrade it and then the new thing didn't either, uh, which is really annoying. There's a boat tucked away underneath the tarpaulin cover. Great news, this boat is big enough for grown man like you to fit in underneath in a supine position. Wait, what would I be doing under there? I don't know, sleeping? What do people do under boats? This is merely a measurement from your visual cortex. Do what with it, what do you want? Great news, I found somewhere new to sleep. Huh? <laughs> I 
said, great news, I found someone new to sleep, pointed at the boat. Under this boat here, it'll be free. Sarcastic self-pity is not what we need at this moment, officer. I understand, understand the situation looks grim, but we must continue our investigation. Think of it as a salvation. You have a home somewhere, all cops do. When this is done, you can return. Oops. We realize it would go in like that. Old breeze is enough to make the ball planks creak. Old city 08. Oh, not. Okay, how's my... Oh, it's too drama, though. My Inland Empire isn't great. The drama is now fantastic. Mm. That, that's... That's plus one, and that's zero, because it's plus one and minus one. Well, the drama goes down from other things. You see a red, dark red chair in the dim light of the room. Broken glass, dusty shelves, and a forgotten chair. Sounds of life in the north. Washboard scrums filth from the fabric. In the blocks, charred. A makeshift fire pit with magazines for lighting. The worn and beaten wooden planks of the bench do not look overly comforting. Hmm. Tender looks down the street. We can sit on benches after we solve the murder. Let's go. Can we visit? Uh, I can. Uh... You can revisit the bench if you ever need to pass the time. And the lieutenant Kitsuragi is gone. Intercellar. Plus one to Kingdom of Conscience. I don't know what that means. Intercellar trousers. I knew what that meant. Hmm. These are some wonderfully regular pants. Not too tight, not too loose. Moderate in every sense. You're blown right in. It's a pleasant dinner party. I like regular normal things. Hmm. I know you do. These inter... In, interi soli pa, solary pants are like wearing a perfect compromise in your nether regions. No one will call the moral intent on you like this, that's for sure. A little more moralist now, buddy. A little more normal, even if he didn't want to be. Makes sense. This is what wearing boring child's office trousers does to you. What's this? We're getting reports of normal, reasonable, temperate political opinion somewhere in Martinez. You must mistake, be mistaken, I'm a real radical. Of course, a radical centrist. Ugh, no. Bright and loud times, a thousand frequencies drown out one another. Sober thinking is a radical act. It's time to become a citizen of the Kingdom of Conscience. First, what is the Kingdom of Conscience? Not a place. It is a moment in time that can only arise in the right circumstance. In all of human history, it's only been achieved a handful of times. How do you bring about those circumstances? Incrementally, history's greatest catastrophes have been brought about by people trying to make the world a better place too quickly. 
The, that's the genius of Dolores Die. Do you recognize that progress is meaningless if its gains are lost because of instability? Real lasting change can only come about gradually, incremental by increment. Okay, but what's the kingdom of conscience actually like? The kingdom is difficult to comprehend and even more difficult to describe. Partly because humanity will need to discard many of the categories that define the limit today. Kingdom of Conscience is post-capitalist, post-national. It's even post-industrial, post-ideological, and po even post-sexual. Um, yeah. Uh, like, if I opt in, I don't actually have to do the thing, and it, I'm sure it doesn't affect me, but I, uh, it seems incompatible with what I already am. Ugh. That seems fine, but I still want to live in the present. Opt out. What you want is immaterial. The kingdom of conscience is coming, whether you like it or not. Only very slowly. Fine, let's put on my cool trousers. You see dust covered lintons, burnt tulips on a bed. Right! I'm gonna let you go. I uh, we're now leaving the proximity and uh, our disco Elysium event. I'm gonna jump on to thank you.